black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to another episode of this weird thing I do on the internet. Today I have a griddle in front of me. We're throwing it way back to like OG true mukbang. I want to say like three years ago. Can't believe I've never done it, but I did buy this to make my cooking videos and I figured while I have it, let's change it up uh, for the first time ever and throw some shit on the griddle. Okay, so I have some sausages, I got some chicken, and then we're going to make some stretchy ass cheese, and we're going to just cook it and talk and have a life together that is going to be beautiful, magnificent even. So we must get sausages on the grill first. I just want to crisp these up, and I have five here, so we'll do the whole lot of them. Now this video format, I've never done it before. I don't know how the editing is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to time lapse anything, but uh, at least for the moment, these guys got to get crispy on this side and we'll flip them, get them crispy on the other side. Then we'll bring the chicken in, get these off to the side, all the meat's done, and then we're going to make the cheese. So I guess I'll check back with you when these are ready to be flipped. Okay. Oh my god, uh, this is so much more dangerous than I could have ever imagined. Are they ready? Oh. Don't do this at home. Oh my god. Alright, wow, that was insane. I did not expect that. I've got these to a more chill, lax cooking temp. Okay, perfect. That's one thing I will say, these, these griddles, I just don't really know how to like navigate the temperature too well. It's a little bit uh, sketch bag, if you will. I mean, adding oil to the fire was probably not a good idea, but I wanted the skin to have a chance to cook properly. And here we go again, just submitting myself to torture for your viewing pleasure. Please run up the numbers. Please share this. Please help me become a mukbang legend just like the legend of Bruce okay <laughs> trying to become a sausage ninja ninja <laughs> trying to become a sausage ninja I am faster than lightning when I flip whoa 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 <laughs> whoa 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 flip my sausage Ah. Yeah. Guys, this is some evil Knievel shit. Real real talk. I really hope this doesn't get as scary as it's as it seems like it will. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have poulet. And in uh, that's I learned that in French class. Actually I learned it on the side of our packaging because there's French on everything here but poulet is chicken but yeah if we have some chicken poulet onto the grill I want to get it nice and golden golden fried it's very very scary territory I don't know if you can hear me over the sizzle, but I hope so. Okay, I gotta salt these, but why did nobody warn me that this is literally the most dangerous thing you could do with your entire life? How, how have there not been way more mukbang casualties? Like I am... Scarified. That's scared and terrified. All at once. Okay? Over. All right, let's flip these guys and hope I don't die and see if it was worth it for the well proper fry. Ah, two at once? Okay, okay. A little golden. Could be crispier. But oh well. Ooh, that one's nice. Very, very nice. I 
like a xylophone of chicken. Ding, ding, dong, ding. Wow. This is an ordeal, you guys. I can't even believe how ridiculous this is. The shit I do for YouTube. Welcome back. Now we move into a more zen moment of this cooking process, a more safe zone where we will try to make this stretchy cheese sauce. So, yeah, we still got some heat here. Hoping this skillet has some. Got some butter. Just go in with that. It doesn't have to be pretty. And we just swirl it in. We're going to basically start off with a little roux. For those of you who don't know, a roux is flour and butter mixed together. It helps to bring sauces, gravies, things like this, cheese, you know, uh, bechamel sauces if we're going super en français with the shits, but uh, it uh, makes things come together and that's what's going to probably make this cheesy, cheesy pull situation. Like the mozzarella has its pull, but because of this, it's going to allow it to like stay together and bind and then create that cheesy pull that we're looking for. So I'm gonna melt this down. So as this is melting down, I will say that this is not how I expected this to go. It's much more crazy, way more crazy. Also, there's something super zen and beautiful about butter melting. There's also that. I know you guys can't see in here, but basically it's just low and slow. I'll try to get a scoop, but once it's just nice, you know, you know you're not burning it. You never wanna burn your Roux. Do not burn your roux. That will ruin it. <laughs> Fuck, I'm clever. Uh, okay, then go in with your flour. Be careful though. Just add in bits at a time and then kind of work it in because you don't want your roux to get too thick because once again, that will ruin it. So you can always add but you can't take away. That was always, that's always the lesson to follow in cooking usually is just like, you can always add, but you can't take away. So if you screw it up and you can't take anything away, generally you're screwed and you gotta restart the whole dish. Whereas with certain, you know, seasoning and things like this, at least you have that control, right? And for those, frugal people out there and parents they used to tell me all the time especially when it came to like putting ketchup on your plate or any sauce you know that's just not cheap it all adds up and basically it's like you can always have another squirt of ketchup if you need more but if you just dump a whole ass ton of ketchup and then you don't use half the pile then you're wasteful you're wasteful here we have half milk, half 18% cream. And I'm just gonna come in with that. Looks like I can do pretty much the whole thing. My measurements were on the fly, off the brain, but that looks like it's gonna be perfect, I hope. And then I'm gonna crank her up so that we can get the high heat going and we can get this matzo cheese just working in and starting that uh, melty process. So, world's tiniest, cutest whisk ever. Just kind of incorporate and then we gotta let it come up to temperature and start doing its thing. Okay, we got our hot cloth because the skillet is popping, but I am proud to announce the cheesy cheese. It barely even will come off. I kind of got to reheat it a bit here, but it all moves in one unit. And it's crazy. And I, for one, am very hot at this point because having this burner in front of your face does not bode well for heat so i'm definitely rosie o'donnell uh also 
the cooking of the meat smoked my shit out so hard. So we're sacrificing for success here. But anyways, let's get this meat tray out. Got the sausage and the chicken. Bang, bang. I do have many sauces off to the side. They're gonna overcrowd the area, so I'm gonna pull them in one by one as we try this. And before we do anything more, we must pour. I know that the uh, the hot plate or whatever, the the cooking dealie, as we'll call it for now, is, uh, is a little high. Like the camera is not completely like over top of it, so you can't, it's just like a little too high in a sense, but I couldn't avoid that. I really, Really tried my best, guys. What an adventure this video has been already. I cannot wait to pop some of this into my mouth. If this a and Fizz would just stop acting a fool. It's so creamy all the time. And, like, I appreciate that, but in a moment like this, where I need to get to where I need to get to, you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. It's nice. Okay. Unless I go in. I want to go sausage first. Why? I don't know. It just feels right to go sausage <laughs> it just feels right to go sausage first Jesus thumbnail so good so crazy to be honest actually like it's very first of all i feel very kimi 2015 if you will we all know i got mustard we all know that kimi is like i swear she was the originator of this shit at least on the american side of things I'll slide you in there cheesy mustard sausage Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I feel like this is so retro. Like, Kimi and all these mukbangers used to do this. You know your man brought a bottle, right? His own bottles. Back in the day. I just never took it to that level. First time doing this stretchy ass cheese. I'm glad I did it though. Because it is delicious. And as you guys may have noticed in these last few uploads, I've been eating pretty much meat and vegetables and stuff. And, uh, That's kind of on purpose for right now because, to be honest, your guy in December, if you hadn't noticed, went buck wild. And I really ate all the breads, all the burgers, all the pastas. Now, I know that this... Okay, well, maybe I don't want to turn that back up. I know that this isn't much, you know... better it's a lot of cheese and stuff but it's basically keto 
with the exception of a little bit of flour, which is really nothing. There's barely any. And uh, as long as you come in under your calories, this is a Southwest Ranch, Jalapeno Southwest Ranch sauce. As long as you respect the calorie intake and aren't taking in sugar, you're good. You're good. And chicken is low-cal. The sausages, not so much. Sausages are uh, one to watch for. In terms of the caloric density but yo this is magical especially with this dip mm. definitely banging This is the Pepperoncini Ranch. Very good. I've just been <clears throat> on one today too, you guys. Like, I don't know, I have these days where I swear, like, do you know how some people have to work out physically to get their energy out? I myself have to verbally get my energy out, and sometimes that's me cruising around the house doing stuff doing chores but literally like sing-songing actually coming up with songs like blurting out random shit like coming up with like comedy bits and comedy skits I look like a crazy person, like I look like a maniac, but it's the way that my brain works. And it helps me to express like this pent up energy. Classic black hoodie eye wipe. I always get the under the eye sweat bags. Sweat bags. <clears throat> it snowed again here today too. It was beautiful though. I loved it. But I had to do a bunch of snow removal at my mom's crib I had to like snow shovel like rake off her roof snow rake her roof I should call it and uh, there's a huge pile and I didn't have like my camera really on me so but 
but I wanted to have a Canadian guy moment and flip into the snow off the roof. <laughs> Like I was 12 years old again. We used to spend hours, eight hours outside, I swear. Back when we would get like certain years, we would get like six foot snow banks. And you just like shovel out and you work on your fort like your kind of like igloo-ish fort really at that point and you'd, you'd, you'd keep tunneling you'd keep working on it keep shaving it out make it nice my parents had to pretty much drag me out of there or me me and my stepbrothers and then we used to make like these almost like a trench huts and strategically set up like snowball fight wars. With his family across the street and they had four, four boys. And we had five and they were like similar age as us. And we used to, used to have all out snowball, snowball wars. Those days, those were the days. So fun. Back when my dad couldn't even get me to eat a sausage if he tried. I didn't like sausages back in the day. As I've gotten older, I definitely respect them. I learned to love the snap. But yo, this is good, but so rich. Just fatty sausage, fatty cheese. It's overwhelming on the palate, consistently over and over. these people be out here <sighs> clearing plates food did you hear that breath <laughs> I'm already so so done I wish I could keep going but I cannot a bit of a weak attempt but I honestly just feel so satiated already. It's crazy. Maybe one more bite of this chicken. With an extra fat scoop of cheese and this jalapeno ranch. It's gotta be it. That was a wild ride. It's rough doing all that cooking because by the time I get to the eating, I'm like burnt out. <laughs> Just like from all like the chaos that happens behind the scenes, like all the dishes and all the weird tweaks and the things I had to do like while you guys were away from the camera. Just by the time you get this all plated and ready it's just like you're just burnt out <laughs> it's 
So I hope I was at least mildly entertaining. It's worth a try. I don't think I'd be doing this a lot, obviously, with just how much cheese that is, but it's worth doing at least once, which this is my first time, so I would do it again, but just not anytime soon. That said, though, very delicious. Very, very good. I hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next time, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.